So the next job on the Goodall Pratt little drill press is to make a new one of these. Now this is the bush that went in the main spindle drive pulley. Uh, I just pressed that out. It, uh, it's only a press fit in there. Very simple thing. It's just a uh, one inch long, uh, five eighths diameter, three eighths reamed hole with a, uh, a small tapped hole on the middle there for the uh, grub screw. But this will be interesting because I've never actually machined a phosphor bronze before. So it's, this is a bit new to me, but uh, hopefully it shouldn't prove too much of a chore. Right, let's get on with it. So we've got our 5 8 piece of phosphor bronze chucked up in the collet. We're going to face it off, then send and drill it. So. Yeah, that's turned out okay. Right, we'll just we'll just uh, move all this out of the way and then get the centre drill in. Okay, centre drill's in place. Not way too fast. So I'm going to start with quarter an inch and I need to go in up to this mark on the drill here. The drill's okay, but it's sticky. I think we're going to come out, peck away at, peck away at it. Stop it there, see how warm this thing is getting. Yeah, it's getting really hot. So I think we'll just let it cool down and then carry on. Well, this stuff gets really hot really quickly. So I'm gonna use some cutting oil on it, on the drill, plenty of it. And I'm gonna go in again, and I'm just gonna go in so far uh, until it gets hot. Take it out, let it cool down, and, and get, I've only got to go in just over an inch, so it's it's not it's not too far, but it does get hot real quick. Yeah, it's it's grabbing. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty hot. But I think I'll just keep pecking away at this until I until I get there. But that's obviously the way you've got to do it and use plenty of cutting fluid. So this is the setup for drilling the hole for the grub screw. Now, <laughs> another fun part of this is it's not actually square. It has to go in five degrees off the perpendicular. And the reason it does that is because the it goes all the way through the pulley which is also threaded and that lines up with the threaded hole in the bush so I've got to drill it at that angle otherwise that they won't line up so I've got my compound slit to five degrees off the perpendicular which is what the angle of the hole is and um, I've got the uh, cross threading block lined up with it it's square to the compound so hopefully we can just wind it in and it I'm going to pack away at it and, and hopefully it will work but I don't honestly know because it might skip or slide we'll have to wait and see so Well, that's a good start. It went straight in at the angle on the line. So now I just swap that out for the tapping drill for 3 16 BSW, which is what the thread in the pulley is. Okay, 3.7 mil drill in. Let's see how this works. Let's put some 
cutting fluid on it. Make sure it's. We haven't got it going very far, thank God. So. Right, I've slowed the drill speed down. Uh, see whether that make, make, is a, gives us a better. Chance. Yeah, that's definitely cutting better at that slower speed. Pecking away at it. We're through to the quarter inch hole. Well, that wasn't too bad. You obviously need to get the cutting speed right. Very important. Well, hopefully that shows you the setup. This is my drilling block and it's parallel with the cross slide. The cross slide is at the angle I required to drill that hole, which I set up with a protractor. And then I can just wind it in and out to do my drilling. Flexible drive going to my old Black & Decker, trusty Black & Decker drill over here, which provides the drive for the uh, for the chuck okay so now i can take that out i think cut it off to length i'm not going to even attempt to part it off because this is horrible stuff i'm going to cut it off on the hacksaw and then we'll put it back in uh, turn it to length face off both ends and turn it to the correct length then we'll go about boring out the rest of the hole uh, and then to uh, size under that we need for reaming four three eighths well i've faced it off to length after cutting it off in the power hacksaw. And now we've got to get it up to 9.25 mil, which is the ream in size for three eighths. The hole that's through at the moment is quarter inch, which is obviously just over six mil. So I've got a seven mil drill and I'm gonna go up very slowly, given how badly this stuff drills <clears throat> and how hot it gets, I'm gonna very slowly increase the bore up to 9.25. Hopefully it shouldn't be so bad now because we've got most of the work is in the collet, which is gonna help dissipate the heat. And obviously the hole is already all the way through, so hopefully that will help too. But here we go. So. Yes, now that was much, much nicer. It, it, there wasn't anywhere near as much smoke. And yes, it's hot, but it's not unbearable. You can touch it, whereas it was getting way hotter than that before. So I think we'll go up a millimeter at a time. I'll swap that out for an eight, and then we'll come back and do the same thing. Okay, this is nine mil, because the other problem you've got is that as you go up in drill sizes, you should be slowing the speed that the work is turning down. And of course, with this lathe, one of the problems is, as you get lower down the RPM range, you lose torque. So take it easy. I think that's the question. That's the way to do it. Well, that was cutting fine, but you can just feel it starting to grab come out okay, we'll just stop it and let it cool down we can take our time with this so we're on the 9.25 now let it cool down a bit
Time for the Rima. Okay, the last part. Now I've let it get really cold, so hopefully that will help. And uh, well, fingers crossed, let's see what happens. less painful than I thought it was going to be. So there's the uh, new bush in the pulley, all done. Also I thought. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about this next stage now with uh, what to do about this, the, the, uh, the spindle. And um, I've decided to make a complete new one of these. And I'm going to ream out the holes in the main head casting just ever so slightly move up to the next size because I can make one of these, you know. So I, it, it can be whatever size I like. But yeah, so this is not quite finished yet. So this, I will end up having to put a reamer through this again to bring it out to whatever size I make the new spindle for. But that's the pulley done. Moving on to the spindle. <laughs> 